What's going on guys and how's it going this morning? So yesterday was an eventful day. First of all, this switch blew. So I lost half the lights in my shop. And since winter decided to show its face finally, I had to get the heat going. I had to break down, get the tube heater fired up and fix my chimney for my wood stove. So now I got it roasting and yeah, we can get some heat in here because it's been a little bit been a little nippy so um yeah after that's all said and done today we're back on the 4bt the fuel gauge was not working so i thought the float was probably just stuck so i pulled it out plugged it into the harness on the truck or on the escalade and the fuel gauge was working fine pulled the sending unit out and found some like springs and sludge in the bottom of the tank now i cleaned this tank out when i originally did the sending unit so i'm assuming the injection system on this engine was full of crap and it just pumped it into the tank so the fuel was murky I cleaned all that out and i noticed that i the springs out of the sending unit were gone so i went up to home hardware and got some springs that uh, looked like they would fit. And I got them in there. I just gotta trim it off a little bit so it'll fit down in further. But what I think happened was, since the sending unit didn't have springs in it, the float got stuck like that under the sending unit because there was nothing holding the bottom of it down. So got that sorted out. Instead of just gonna trim the springs a little bit to get the sending unit to sit down and flush. And then another thing I noticed, when the vehicle came, this pipe here fitting was uh, threaded into the tank with silicone. Well, the fuel ate that silicone off and it was leaking around that fitting or that barbed fitting. So I pulled it out, cleaned it all off, wire wheeled it to rough up the plastic and the fitting, and then got some epoxy on there, which is JB Weld and it is oil resistant. So I, uh, I, I put that on there and it's been curing for a few days now. So I'll probably throw a coat of silicone over top of that just to give it some layers of, of uh, sealing. And then yeah, get this tank back up in, put some fresh fuel in it. And then this thing is basically ready to go. So that, uh, that is my goal today. So. And then coming over here, we got our 7.3 OBS 97, I believe. Still waiting on an IDM for it. I got an email saying that they're behind schedule, of course. So still waiting on that. Uh, I did get the starter figured out. Had to get a had to get a remand starter um, to put in to it, so it would work again. And then this big unit over here, got it sorted out. And this baby here had a lifter failure. So the needle bearings from the lifter got shot through the engine and the oil basically looked like it was full of sprinkle or uh, full of glitter. So I got the oil cooler sitting here. And this stuff here is what I pulled out of the oil filter. There's still a little bit down in there. You probably can't see it. But uh, yeah, these are needle bearings out of a lifter. So yeah, that's what's been going on the past few days. So uh, keep you posted on some other projects going on and details of how things are going on the 4BT. So thank you.